Hello, this is Renee, and this is a reading for the collective. This is a timeless reading. So whenever you see this reading is when you were meant to see it. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. I just had a bunch of cards fall out here. Okay, we have affirmations for acceptance, affirmations for growth, and healing waters. Okay, I'm going to move these over to the side. Collective, what's going on with you right now? I feel like I'm getting the energies that you're kind of working on yourself at the moment. Oh, how did that get in there? <clears throat> yeah, I feel like you're working on yourself at the moment. Let's get a few more Oracle cards. See what's going on with the Collective. With affirmations of acceptance, we have waning, waking the lion. So I feel like um, you're showing a lot of strength in this situation. Wow. Okay. With affirmations for growth, we have exposed and revealed. With healing waters, we have the power of purpose. Oh. Okay, let's get some tarot and see what this all means for you. Let's see here. I feel like whatever you're going through, collective, um, if it's in love, I feel like you're showing a lot of strength, even though things have been revealed, they have been kind of pulling you in one direction or another. I feel like you've grown past this situation. Um, and I feel like you are healing. The power of purpose, that also gives me will, will of fortune vibes. So I'm, I'm feeling like you're really focusing on healing at the moment. You are making the changes that you need to change. You're working on yourself. Does that make sense, Collective? But I feel like the wheels are turning. The Your environment is changing. Now, are you going to be on the outside of this wheel, riding all the changes? Or are you going to be in the middle of the wheel? Are you going to be the one that's in control of the situation? See, because the further out on the wheel you go, the, the less control you have of the situation. But if you're towards the middle of the wheel, and that's where you want to be, you are in control of what's destined to happen. But I do feel like you're going through something that you are healing from at this moment. Yeah, you also have you also have the tower in reverse. So I feel like change is inevitable, but you are kind of fighting the changes. You don't want this to change. Um,
but sometimes change is good. Sometimes the tower can be a blessing in disguise. Um, but I feel like you're fighting the process. And I feel like the more you fight the tower, the longer it's going to endure in your life. Um, yeah, you also have the Page of Wands. Now, the Page of Wands... This could be someone coming in who's going to offer you a new perspective on the situation. That's what I'm feeling of it. I feel like this, this page of wands, they're going to come in and... kind of make the situation make sense. And you also have the Six of Swords. So I feel like once you accept the situation, you're going to gain the new ideas from the situation and then it's going to help you move. Okay, I feel like because of this tower situation, you could be moving, um, but definitely you're moving into a better location. You're definitely moving into a more peaceful time. You also have the Nine of Wands. So, I'm feeling in this situation, you are, because of this tower coming, um, I feel like you are setting your boundaries. You're gaining your perspectives. You may be moving into calmer waters. You may be moving on from the situation or just moving in general. Um, but I feel like you are setting more strict boundaries for your life. You're becoming more reserved. But you are pressing on. I feel like you're, you're pressing on in the situation but it's left you very guarded. Does that make sense? I'm, I feel like you're very guarded at this time. Like you're not quite sure which way to go. And at the bottom of the deck you have the full. So I'm feeling like you are really urging yourself to go on a new path. To start fresh and take a chance. This could be taking a chance with just moving in general. But I feel like you are really feeling the vibes of, of moving on and starting over. Very interesting collective. Very interesting reading. Let's get some advice for the situation. What is the advice for the collective? What is the advice? And then we'll go ahead and clarify. Okay, yeah, you have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this is you doing the hard work in this situation. If this isn't you, I feel like someone's going to come in who's who you feel is reliable and patient in the situation. But I feel like the answers are, are going to come to you slowly. This is something that, that you are definitely growing into. Um, yeah, I'm that's the reason why we have these affirmations card affirmations for growth 
and exposed and revealed. So I believe the answers that you're looking for are going to come to you, but they're going to come to you within a time period. They're going to come to you as you gain more growth in this situation. Wow. Okay. And yeah, you have the Ten of Wands in reverse. So I feel like you are kind of unburdening, unburdening yourself from the situation. Um, you're kind of setting yourself free, which makes a lot of sense because the tower can also be like a sense of freedom. And these are the only two cards that are both in reverse. So I, I feel like in this situation, you're, you may not be feeling a change at the moment, but I feel like it's leaving you, it's making you feel like you're gaining freedom from the situation. You're freeing yourself from something. You're kind of removing your burdens. Very interesting. And you also have the Seven of Swords. So I feel like, and you have the Fool at the bottom again. So, very, very interesting reading collective. With all of this energy, I kind of feel like you are really contemplating releasing your burdens and just running away. Is that what you're feeling right now, Collective? Are you feeling like you are so overburdened at the moment? You just feel like releasing those burdens and moving on, just running away from the situation? And you also have the star. You also have the star. I'm getting the energy that you're really diving deep. You're diving deep for answers. You're looking for acceptance in this situation. Maybe you're looking for support. But the universe is letting you know that spirit is, is with you. You have all the strength that you need in this situation. And with the star coming out in this reading as well, you have healing and renewal. See, the star is coming out... The star is healing for a tower moment. And you have the tower and the star. So you have your, your change that's coming that maybe you don't have any uh, ability to change. But you have your healing from the situation as well. You have the tower and the star. So, wow. I'm going to set this over here. Wow. Okay. This star, I'm feeling, could also be you taking your action. Although that's, that's not really what the star means. But I'm feeling it intuitively, intuitively that... You gained your clarity in the situation and now you are taking your action. Very interesting reading. And a whole bunch of cards just wanted to come out. We're not going to take those.
<laughs> you also have the moon. Wow. So I think a lot of things have been hidden from you. Um, a lot of things. And the moon also goes with this. Exposed and revealed. This is also moon energy. A lot of things have been exposed and revealed to you. This, this moon, um, they're living in an illusion. Um, but that illusion is being exposed. I think you should trust your gut on this situation. Trust your intuition on what, where spirit wants to guide you and lead you. Your spirit, your angels, whatever it is you believe in, the universe. But I feel like you're being guided at the moment. You are definitely being guided at the moment. Yeah, you have the Four of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Um, this may be someone that you're dealing with romantically. This may be someone that you're married to. It may be someone in your family. Um, but you have the Four of Wands in the upright but you have the eight of swords in reverse so i'm feeling like you're having trouble holding yourself back from the situation you're kind of indecisive at the moment you are you don't feel like the the answers are coming to you Very interesting. Very interesting collective. Okay, let's get some clarity on the situation. Let's get some clarity. And you also have that hangman on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like the wisdom and the perspective that you need is right at your fingertips. Um, it may be saying that you need to look at something at a different perspective. I'm going to set this right here. You, you may need to look at something from a different point of view. Okay, Spirit, let's get a little bit of clarity on this situation. I'm only going to pull three cards for clarity. Three cards, Spirit. The Devil. Okay, I, I'm feeling like if this is a person, this is someone who is really obsessing with you. Maybe it's a relationship you're trying to get away from. Maybe it was just someone who was being greedy. You also have the strength card. I'm feeling like this could also be either a Capricorn or a Leo. It doesn't have to be. Um, but you have the strength card twice in this reading. So I do feel like you are able to move past something and and adapt to it very easily. I feel like you have all the strength that you need in this situation. You also have the Ace of Swords. So I feel like whatever clarity that's coming from these things that are being exposed and revealed, I feel like you have all the clarity that you need. It, everything, it, it's like an aha moment. Like, I didn't really realize this person was like this, but oh my gosh, okay, I see their true colors. Does that make sense? And you have the strength card who is helping you control the situation. Um, you have all the strength and the power that you need in this situation. So don't fret too much here.
but I feel like you should take more time to maybe focus on yourself at the moment. Yeah, it could be that this person said something to you. Um, I wish I could take back my words. So if this is a situation, and I, I feel like some things that were said that this person feels like they shouldn't have said. Yeah, you were the best thing in my life. That's why they're trying to come back. But I feel like you have kind of let this situation go. But no, with the reverse tower and the reversed ten of wands, I feel like you don't want to let them go. But I feel like you're seeing this person as someone who's very sneaky and conniving. I feel like, and I'm not available. Is this someone that you were seeing who was in a relationship with someone else and those things are being revealed to you? As I'm getting these messages, I feel like this person was trying to come to you, but they weren't even totally available to come to you. And I feel like that was exposed and revealed to you. And now you're kind of contemplating if you should get rid of this person. Maybe they're telling you lies or telling you that, um, yeah, with the Seven of Swords, be careful for lying, cheating, and stealing. Um... I feel like this person is telling you that, you know, wait for them, that they want to be with you. But I feel like you know the truth. I feel like you're setting your boundaries. You are, but I don't feel like you're standing your ground in this situation. I feel like this person has kind of got you. Yeah, they're... They're kind of pulling you in with all this, I feel you, even though we're apart. I hope that you can forgive me one day. And on the bottom of the deck, I wish I had treated you better. Wow, okay. Now the whole reading makes sense. Now, not one of these cards came through as them showing really love and gratitude to, towards you. They're all letting you know that they've done something wrong and now you, they're asking for your forgiveness. But I feel like in this situation, you have the clarity and the strength to take control of your destiny. Of course, it's your decision. If you're destined for this for this relationship for this person, then of course it's gonna come it's gonna manifest. But I feel like you know the truth. I feel like everything's out in the open and you are kind of not wanting to accept the changes. You're not wanting to accept the truth. You're not wanting to accept the change that the truth will bring. But I feel like you you really know that this is in your best interest. Of course, I'm not going to make any decisions for you. This is all your free will. This is all you in this situation. This is just to provide you some clarity. Okay, collective. I think that you have some very big choices to make on letting, if you're going to let this person back into your life or if you're not. Um, if this message has resonated with you please like and subscribe 
hit that bell so that you don't miss any readings and make sure to take a look at your sun moon and rising for more clarity in the situation um, as I said this message is timeless so when you find it is when you're meant to see it and thank you for watching collective love and light many blessings